From racist remarks from former owner of the Clippers to Kyrie Irving's rampant anti-Semitism, here are the NBA's most controversial moments. In the dark underbelly of the NBA, a sinister figure lurked in the shadows. Tim Donaghy, a veteran referee with a penchant for gambling, was not content with merely betting on games. He wanted to control the outcomes, and he succeeded. For years, Donaghy was able to rig games, using his intimate knowledge of the game and its referees to place winning bets with alarming accuracy. But when the FBI finally caught up with him, the league was thrown into chaos as fans and players alike questioned the integrity of the game they loved. David Stern, the commissioner at the time, tried to downplay the scandal, insisting that it was an isolated incident. For as it turned out, nearly all of the referees were betting on basketball games, and the NBA itself was complicit in their actions, using poor officiating calls to extend playoff series and keep games close. Donaghy had merely been the tip of the iceberg a glimpse into a world of corruption and deception that threatened to tear the league apart. But the real controversy starts with Donald Sterling. Donald Sterling's ownership of the Los Angeles Clippers was a stain on the NBA for over three decades. He was not only a terrible owner, but a despicable human being who committed housing discrimination against minorities and held deeply racist views. Despite this, he continued to own the Clippers, much to the annoyance of fans and players alike. In 2014, Sterling's true colors were exposed when a recording of him making racist comments was leaked to the media. I tried walking and you perceived as either a Latina or a white girl. Why should you be walking publicly with black people? Why? Is there a benefit to you? He was heard telling his mistress not to bring black people to Clippers games, which caused a massive uproar and rightfully led to his banishment from the NBA. It's shocking that it took so long for the league to act against Sterling, given his long history of reprensible behavior. But thanks to the decisive actions of Commissioner Adam Silver, Sterling was finally removed from the league and forced to sell the Clippers. That's not the only incident of racism from the NBA though. Kyrie Irving, the Brooklyn Nets superstar, landed himself in hot water after reposting a film with some seriously anti-Semitic views. And the worst part, he refused to apologize for spreading those harmful ideas. The Nets organization gave Irving multiple chances to make things right, but he just would not budge not even when they suspended him indefinitely. That's right, the man just wouldn't take accountability for his actions. But then again, what did we expect from someone who thinks the earth is flat? Things got even crazier when Nets owner Joe Tsai gave Irving a whole laundry list of demands to meet before he could return to the team, one of which was speaking to the Jewish commissioner of the NBA, Adam Silver. Of course, the punishment didn't sit well with some of the players, who thought it was way too harsh for just a social media post. But ownership and higher-ups in the league knew they had to set an example that this kind of thing won't be tolerated. But that did not stop some players, like LeBron James, from coming to Irving's defense. Eventually, Irving was allowed back on the team, but it's clear that he's on thin ice. And now for some jaw-dropping news about Boston Celtics ex-head coach Ime Udoka. Turns out this baller has been playing a little game off the court, and it's not with a basketball. This guy has been caught up in some steamy, scandalous business with a Celtics staff member. I mean seriously, what kind of man would cheat on Nia Long? This guy clearly has a death wish. But hey, some Celtics fans are still backing Udoka, pointing to the fact that he led the team to the NBA Finals in his first year. But for others, the moral compass is spinning out of control, and they're ready to show Udoka the door. The winds of change are blowing through the Boston Celtics organization faster than a LeBron James fast break. In a shocking turn of events, former interim coach Joe Mazzulla has been handed the keys to the franchise, and promoted to head coach status, all while Ime Udoka, the former head honcho, was shown the door. But while Mazula basks in the glory of his new role, Udoka is likely nursing his ego and plotting his next move. This Celtic shakeup was sure to have fans buzzing, with some seeing it as a step forward and others scratching their heads wondering what the heck happened. 
One thing is for sure, the Celtics are hoping Missoula will be able to take this team to the promised land and bring home that elusive championship. The future looks bright for Boston, but only time will tell if Missoula has what it takes to lead them to glory. Okay, now it's time to talk about the more serious stuff. Former NBA player Anthony Morrow's life has taken a dark turn, as he is now facing multiple charges including assault on a female, assault by strangulation, communicating threats, and second-degree kidnapping. The Charlotte native, who was once a star basketball player at Charlotte Latin High School, is now embroiled in legal troubles that could threaten his future. Morrow's fall from grace is shocking, as he was once a well-respected player in the NBA, having played for nine seasons with teams such as the Warriors, Nets, and Hawks. But his success on the court is now overshadowed by his alleged violent behavior towards a woman. According to reports, Morrow was arrested on the 10th of February and released on a $15,000 bond two days later. It's unclear what led to the charges against him, but the seriousness of the allegations is clear. For fans who once cheered him on from the stands, it's a sad and startling turn of events for Morrow. His once promising career is now in jeopardy and his reputation forever tarnished. But he isn't the only one with a blemish on his career. Former NBA star Sean Kemp, also known as the Rain Man, is making headlines once again. And this time it's not for his signature high-flying dunks. Nope, it's much more shocking than that. Kemp was arrested and charged for a drive-by shooting in Tacoma, Washington. The man who used to soar through the air like a bird is now facing serious criminal charges. According to jail records, Kemp was booked for a felony charge of drive-by shooting. It's a stunning fall from grace for the former six-time NBA All-Star, who played for the Seattle Supersonics, Cleveland, Portland, and Orlando. To make things even more surprising, Kemp is the owner of two cannabis stores in Seattle. Who knew that the Rain Man was into the marijuana business? But it seems that even the world of weed can't shield Kemp from the long arm of the law. And then there's another rising star in the NBA who has fallen from grace in the most dramatic fashion. Delonte West, once a former basketball player who thrilled crowds with his impressive skills on the court, has been arrested and charged with a litany of crimes following a vehicle trespassing incident. The charges against West include fleeing from law enforcement, public intoxication, vehicle trespassing, and entering a vehicle without permission. Witnesses claim that West was trying to break into a car that did not belong to him, and when police tried to apprehend him, he became aggressive and fled the scene. This isn't the first time West has had trouble with the law. In 2020, he was caught on video yelling incoherently while handcuffed on a Washington, D.C. sidewalk. West's NBA career was once filled with promise, but it all came crashing down when he was suspended multiple times by the Dallas Mavericks for getting into arguments during the preseason. He was waived by the team in 2012, and he hasn't played in the NBA since. Now it seems that Delante's struggles have only gotten worse, and it remains to be seen if he'll be able to turn his life around. That's a wrap on the most controversial NBA moments. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.